On this episode, we're going to take you diving at night in the Florida Keys to watch one of nature's greatest spectacles, the coral spawn, which is where it all begins for coral. Coral reefs are among the most diverse communities found anywhere on Earth. They support a dazzling array of life, from the smallest fish to the largest predators. We know so little about life on coral reefs, we haven't even begun to classify all the organisms that live here. Corals on the reef can either be soft corals, which may look like plants but are not, or hard corals that give the reef its solid structure. Both are indeed animals. When you look closely, you can see that they are individual animals called polyps that live together as a group. They come in all different sizes and shapes, each unique to the type of coral. The color in the coral comes from an unusual, mutually beneficial relationship with an algae, zoanthellae. It's kind of brown in color, and this, these little freckles are due to some endosymbiotic plants. They're called zoanthellae. They're actually little single cell plants that live within the coral tissue. They concentrate in the tentacles. The tentacles can be held up towards the light. And in this way, the plants perform photosynthesis the way that any plant does. And the coral is actually able to get most of its food from these unicellular plants. To better understand how corals grow and spread, biologists set up tents over the corals to catch the coral sperm and eggs when they spawn. Since corals only spawn at night, the scientists have to work underwater at night, and that can be a bit scary. I think the first time you start doing night diving, it can be very scary. And I, and I have friends, scientists and non-scientists, but including well-known marine biologists who said, forget it, not me, I'm not going out there at night. Um, there is this, uh, you know, doom, 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 doom idea that if you're out there at night and you can't see what's going on, something's going to eat you. And you just have to put that out of your mind. Once you get over that, it's actually a very beautiful experience. There are a lot of animals that are hidden inside the reef in the daytime, come out at night to feed. The reason the scientists are on the reef this night is for the once a year spectacle, the coral spawn. During the spawn, each coral head releases millions of gamete bundles that contain both sperm and eggs. This amazing spectacle is happening simultaneously all over the whole reef. Each coral polyp pushes its own bundle out into the ocean where they break open and fertilize each other. The scientists will gather coral gamete bundles so they can fertilize coral eggs in the lab and study how corals begin life. This helps them better understand how reefs are formed. What you see out there now is the result of hundreds of years of settlement activity. And we don't really know how to explain why coral reefs exist where they do and why they don't exist where we don't find them, but we might expect we should find them. The, the attachment of these larvae it's, is what determines where a reef will be. That's the first step that has to take place. So it's an important one to understand. But I think from the humanitarian point of view, um, you know, we are, we are passengers on this earth along with all these other animals and plants. And we need to understand them, both for our, for our own uh, satisfaction to understand the world in which we live, um, as well as to be better partners with them in terms of uh, you know, promoting their health. And their health comes back to our mental health. People go and spend hundreds of millions of dollars a year to go diving on coral reefs because there's some kind of an emotional high that you get when you see the beauty, you know, the complexity of the reef. You know, it brings tears to people's eyes and you want to take pictures and you want to recreate it in an aquaria on your, in your dining next to your dining room table so you can watch this. It brings you a sense of peace. And these are all little reasons um, that, that we need to study these organisms and understand what they're all about. Coral reefs are beautiful complex ecosystems that are very sensitive to many environmental changes. Unfortunately, they are on a decline worldwide. They are disappearing before we fully understand them. 
There are things all of us can do to help preserve these special places. So please visit our website to find out how you can be part of the solution. Be sure to also watch our show on whale tagging, where we go out with a biologist to tag the largest animals on Earth, blue whales. He's trying to find out why they're having collisions with ships when they're feeding.